Well, a street artist from Littleton, known across the world for her large-scale interactive wings, has landed a special project in Denver. Yeah, you will for sure be able to see this mural, but most importantly, you can touch it and feel it. Kathy Wash, watch that work in progress today. And it was certainly amazing, I have to tell you. You know, Kelsey Montague and her sister travel the world creating interactive street art. This week, they're home here in Colorado, and they're tackling a new challenge for a special group of children. When superstar Taylor Swift found her wings in New York City, Kelsey Montague's art went viral. I feel like she dropped us on a wave, and we are like riding that wave for as hard, one and as hard as we can. From Colorado to Cape Town, Arizona to Australia, 300 murals in the last five years. The street artist from Littleton is known internationally for her intricate angel wings. Now she's back home, working out of her comfort zone. I'm being pushed as a creative completely past anything I've done before. Kelsey and her sister and business partner, Courtney, are creating both a big and a little set of wings for the Anchor Center for Blind Children. The design is typical Kelsey, but also very different. And I want them to really enjoy this and to know it's for them. So the mural is stark white on black and will have lights to help the visually impaired. The design is raised for touch. I actually was closing my eyes a little bit. I was like, how, how are they feeling this? You know, like, is this going to make sense? The piece has words in Braille, hope, love, and see life differently, what the Anchor Center teaches. It is tactile, interactive, and for the Anchor Center, perfect. It really comes alive in a way that outside of just vision, it can be experienced and enjoyed and appreciated. Kelsey's hashtag is what lifts you. She sees power in positivity. She hopes the children find wonder in her wings. Kelsey and Courtney are big on giving back. The Anchor Center is paying only for materials, and you can bet delighted children will be payment enough for these Colorado sisters. I love so much about this story, and especially love those two sisters. They seem just remarkable. They really were so friendly and just so outgoing and hardworking. Yeah, you can tell. Thanks, Kathy.